Good morning, everybody. Great things are happening in our community. We love to talk about them every single morning here on Iowa Live. And believe it or not, it is the last day of July, which means Mainframe Studios is having first their Friday. first Friday, basically two love days it. from now. Uh, my brain still can't wrap around that. But what you need to know is Mainframe Studios, an incredible space featuring some of the best artists uh, we have in our community uh, just off of Keogh, uh, is it has an opportunity, an open door policy, especially on first Fridays for you to come in and enjoy a party. And there's always a theme yeah. uh, that's involved with that as well. So very excited to have Siobhan Spain joining us, director Hello. of this beautiful space. Great to be here. Thanks and for you us. brought in a guest that relates yep. to what the theme is uh, just a couple days from now. Yes, Josh Larson is one of our tenants. He's been with us uh, since the beginning, like for two years. Nice. So he has numinous games and has been working on some amazing gaming that people need to know about. So I think people uh, have this preconceived idea about what gaming can do, and he is definitely proving everybody otherwise, otherwise. with his gaming. Josh, yep. t talk a little bit about the types of games that you guys create, because there, there is a difference, and I think people will be excited to hear about this type of gaming. Sure, yeah. Um, so I run a studio, Numinous Games, with my partner, Ryan, and we make games for social good. Um, the way I describe it is games that help people love each other better. And so we focus on um, storytelling and um, trying to evoke more emotion when you're playing the game and games for social good, so that kind of thing. How does that work? Because you, you think of uh, Fortnite or the, the yeah, ones sure. that are really popular with Minecraft. kids. Minecraft. Minecraft yeah. and games, I don't even know what they are, but you sure. hear those names all the time. You hear about competitions that are happening and the kids getting younger and younger and younger that are playing this or older. How are you changing that outlook of, of doing social good with gaming? Sure, yeah. So we we think of games as art. You know, mm -hmm. that's part of why I'm interested in Mainframe Studios. Absolutely. And so um, a game that we're best known for is That Dragon Cancer, which is about my partner and his family battling cancer and their son. And so the game is kind of a memoir of their experience as a family. So, you know, if you think of that in art terms, you know, the, a memoir is something you would see in the form of a book or right. a film or, you know, some other kind of artistic medium. So. We are game developers, and so we were thinking in terms of how do we create this interactive world um, and a way that you can walk alongside the family as they're um, experiencing, you know, this thing that so many of us experience in some form or another. So are so. we talking like, you know, uh, your classic games? Are we talking virtual? Like, would you put something over your eyes, so Sure. Like, um, what kind of games are we talking here? Yeah, both, actually. So, yeah, it could be a video game that you play on your mobile device yeah. or a PC or in a virtual reality headset, so. Wow. Yeah. And I, I, I think that's refreshing because for those of us parents and, you know, you're, you're, I'm all, oh, those games. But to know that maybe there's some that they can invest a little bit of time in and then there's storytelling and they're learning and the emotion. I love, I love what you're doing with that. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. So I, I love this uh, First Friday because this is the second time we've done it. And I think people um, come down with an idea and they're like, this First Friday is not going to be for me, you know. But they come and they see these adults and teenagers interacting with each other, understanding all the talent that's in our region going towards gaming and really pushing the envelope. So uh, it surprises people how much there is to relate to and experience. And I, I really encourage people to come out. Yeah, even talk if about some of the things that you guys are going to have taking place down there that yes. they can kind of get involved in and uh, interact with. Absolutely. So we um, oftentimes we use First Fridays to partner with others, which is great. And we love partnering with our artists to help organize these because this is her, his expertise. Yeah. So he's got regional gamers to come down. So we're going to have tabletop games, you know, the interactive, wow, the real, like, the real, the real deal, thing. You can touch. You can touch. Yeah. Yes, love it. Exactly. Love it. We have arcade games um, developers. Last time we had the funniest one that just cracked me up so much. It was so much fun to do. Uh, so they're really unique games and then interactive ones, obviously virtual reality. You know, people that have not experienced virtual reality before, this is a great time to come down. It's very addictive. It's, it's, it's You understand why people love it so much when you try it out. Um, so we'll have, uh, Tangerine Food Company always does a great job on food, so they're gonna have a massive nacho bar. We're gonna have extended hours. We're gonna have even a photo giveaway by Mirza Kudic. So there's always more to experience beyond just our theme, but this time 
is pretty special because we're bringing a lot of people, outside people in to really show off what's happening. I love that. Uh, yeah. So let's talk about First Fridays because yeah. uh, maybe there are some people out there that still haven't experienced what Mainframe is all about. And you're yeah. always encouraging people to come down and meet the artists and see what they have to offer, not only maybe in their space, but mm -hmm. for our community. Why is First Friday so special? Uh, it's kind of like saying you need to come check out this space and see what it's all yeah. about. Yeah, you know, um, I love it because it, it shows off what we do. We work hard all month and these artists are working in their studios. We have over 70 studios. We're only halfway done. We're still right. in a capital campaign to finish it, but we're having so much successful stories coming out of it. Uh, we have artists of all disciplines and gaming, and gaming is one of them. I think showing people the um, the extent of creative professionals that are in Des Moines and really contributing to our community. So we have um, 89 tenants in those 70 studios. We even have arts nonprofits that they can interact with, mm -hmm. community support advocates. Um, is there civic music association, city sounds. So it's a great time to come together as a community and really experience art, whatever your interest is, whether it's glass blowing, um, clothing design, painting, um, ceramics. Uh, there's a, just something for everybody. There it's such a valuable is. experience and opportunity to be able to actually go and visit their studios, visit with the artists mm -hmm. themselves, and mm -hmm. it's just yeah, fab and to have that many all in one spot like there, yeah. it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. And first Fridays are a, as nice it's a party. Way to first Fridays, yeah. Yeah. everybody's the coming out. The same time to have a party and learn something. So, Josh, what, what, what do you want to be the big takeaway from this Friday for people to come out and experience what you have to offer? Sure, yeah. So, I would say just um, trying to realize that we have a lot of local game developers in Des Moines, in central Iowa, and um, just realize like what people are up to and get to experience virtual reality or um, strategy games or board games or social games. And so, yeah, we have a lot of local developers and um, people are doing some really interesting projects and cool games and it should be a lot of fun. Yeah, award-winning so. developers, might we add. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. It, yeah. And so, it, let's say people fall in love with what you have developed and they want to purchase. Is there a, that opportunity as well when they come visit you? Um, yeah, so it depends on the project being showcased. So, okay. we're actually showcasing a project that's in development right okay. now. Oh, I love it, that. Yeah, it's a virtual reality game and it's very social. So, you can get a whole bunch of people together playing the game together. Some people can be playing the game, some people can be um, creating creating the game like in the headset so you can design your own levels for the game and then like those people can be designing the levels while the other people are actually still playing the game so you can work on it together. Um, wow, so it's a very like wait. social and creative <laughs> experience and it's just a lot of fun. So. Okay, you're blowing my mind. Yeah. And I, it's, just, it's one of those like... I'm getting it, to be a little bit more of a fan of the game. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yes. Yes. So parents works. come out That's and right. see what the kids are talking about. and Because yeah. it, it is family friendly. We want yes, everybody yes. to come out to this first Friday. Yep. I love that about our first Fridays. You get all walks of life in there connecting with each other. I think it's one of the best things that we do for the community. So we're, we're still, you know, people are like, I can't believe we didn't know about this. Yeah. So just trying to get the word out and let people know everybody's welcome. It's free and open to the public. Anybody can come. Okay, so, so give us the details. This Friday. This Friday. Because it is the first Friday of August. Yes, I not. can't believe it. Yeah. So it's, it starts at 5, ends at 9. Okay. We usually do 5 to 8, but to, for, this, for this event, we always extend our hours. Yeah, because um, it's so popular. Yeah. Yep, so at 900 Kia Way, mm -hmm. right down, just north of downtown. You come up 10th Street or off 12th off the freeway, um, plenty of parking around our building, uh, and just c come and be ready to play. Yeah, perfect. I love it. And look, I love you can go to mainframestudios.org, find out more information, uh, as well as learn more about all of the different artisans and uh, Josh's business, Numinous Games. That sounds like you have a fabulous uh, right. venture there. So oh, I'm, I know I'm excited to learn more. I'm yes. excited to check out this uh, festival, Sean. Thank you so much for yeah. everything you do uh, with Mainframe. It's absolutely incredible. And Josh, thank very you. nice to meet you this morning. Thank Great you. Great things are happening in our community. So mm -hmm. make sure you are a part of them. You're